What is up, guys? We're back week three of Continued Conversations, our TCS podcast. Last week, I told you we had somebody that you knew, a familiar face coming back to chat with us. So Mm -hmm. this week, we have Miss Lauren McAllister. Welcome back. How do you feel? Are you excited? Nervous? I'm a little nervous. This, you That's know, okay. it's my old stomping grounds, but That's it's true. just a little, yeah, it's See, fun. But we like you enough that we brought you back. So. I'm very, I'm very <laughs> flattered. That's why I'm here. I would have told you no if I didn't like you. No, I was kidding. That's fair. That's fair. I was a little worried. I was like, hey, just me and you. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> I'm you sure. Were like, yeah, we're Three good. is we're hard. Good. You know, me and Three's you, we know how to, we, we know how to banter. banter. Yeah. We did like two years of bantering. Every day, every day. Seriously. (laughs) So, hey, just a reminder. I mean, it's week three. If you haven't checked in or if this is the first one you're or only one you're listening to, really, you Mm -hmm. saw the topic. You're like, hey, we want to listen about that. Um, We're going to do our best to have just a raw and authentic conversation. Um, This goes uh, a little bit in line with our series that we're currently in, our Love, Sex, and Dating series. So um, yesterday, actually, uh, we heard a great message from Derek, one of Mm -hmm. our pastors, our Midtown pastor at The Crossing, um, just talking about boundaries, a little bit Mm -hmm. about pornography, a little bit about how far is too far. Um, So I'm, I'm excited to continue this conversation today we're talking about this idea of consent mm-hmm. so it is one that um we're both pretty passionate about yeah um and it's it's cool because this came up last year yep. when we did our love sex and dating series mm-hmm. of in a q a yep. of something that we didn't get to talk to about on stage right so it came up in that q a so we're gonna get into that in a minute but first and foremost we heard jeff and scott's awkward date story so we need to hear lauren's awkward date story so lauren take it away Kay. give us an awkward date story Okay, so on my, it was about like our second date, Jesse and I's second Jessie, date. Jesse, so you're married. I Context. am married. So Jesse, yeah. shout out. Best this guy awkward ever. date didn't ruin it. It didn't ruin it. <laughs> and it really wasn't that awkward, but I am just someone who I don't get enver- embarrassed easily. Hmm. But when I do, oh my word, it sticks with me. And so um, we're on our second date, it was my turn. You know, I believe in like we're equal. So it, I was taking, I planned the date, I took him out on a date. Um, we went to some restaurant in downtown Summerlin and we were getting like the refill of our waters, which mind you, we met in June, 2020. So pandemic, right? So like we're in a restaurant was kind of a little bit sketch. We didn't really know what we were. We didn't know. And it was second date. Okay, were we so doing like masks on and off when we? I think you at could. That point? No, I think you could sit we at the never table. Did that, did we? that was it California. Was, yeah, you could. When you walked to your table, you had to have your mask on. But then when you sat down, you could have it off so the entire odd. time. It's so, so odd crazy. Remembering that stuff. So crazy. Um, but we had like a refill on our waters or whatever, and the waitress, like I think he, I had ordered a soda water, he had ordered whatever. We had a miss order. The waitress kind of just fumbled a little bit. She was getting back into the swing of things from post COVID. And he was like, oh, I'll just like, we'll share it. And we're in a pandemic. I had just met the man, hadn't kissed yet. And so I was like, no, like I'd like my own. I asked for my own water, which like, it's not. Like looking back on it, you're like, sure. Well, like his response was the best because it was just like, oh, okay. Like it was just very like, if you know Jesse, you know, he's just like just like taking a little bit yeah he was just like trying to be cool and just like oh it's fine like we can share oh, yeah yeah, yeah. You yeah can have this one. we can yeah. share yeah, you can have this one. and oh, um yeah. <laughs> i was so embarrassed because i don't know like we're dating like you know pretty soon we kissed like what was i thinking it was the pandemic like just anyways it w- i was embarrassed because of his response like if he would have just been oh, like funny yeah like oh no like yeah that's fine we'll take two of them but i was like very like no what if he has covid like what if like <laughs> We don't know what's wow. happening in the world. I don't know if I'm going to go on a third date. That's I mean, it was we were we were pretty good, but yeah. Anyways, that's so funny. I was did they even bring you like two straws? No, they they did bring a second drink. It was like something was weird with like the soda water and the fountain. I don't know. It was some restaurant thing, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But that's really weird. I was just embarrassed. So, but you're married, so it's okay. I married. It worked. Yeah, it's okay. and we shared. He drinks out of my water bottle all the time. So <laughs> here we are. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's married couple things, you know? Yeah, you, you just know, drink out of each other's yeah, water bottles or something. Hard. I don't know. It's hard to get your oh. daily intake. You got to just share. Yeah, you got to share. <laughs> yeah. I feel like then you're drinking half of what you should. Yeah, but like it works because then he, can, he he fills up the water bottle more like than I do. That's, well. Yep. My wife That's gets a trick, me, ladies. My wife That's gets me because I always take the last drink. Yeah. And then it ends. And I'm like, yeah. I did not know it was that low. And she's like, you got to fill it. Yeah. I was like, man, you hey, gave me like this much left in there. We are strategic about that. Well, oh, I'd see, what you're saying is Kaylee actually plans this stuff? Maybe not Kaylee. I got to go talk to her about I that I am then. strategic. Yeah. I think she is, too. Kay. I I'm really do. Probably. She's smart. Kaylee's That's smart. True. Yeah. That's true. 
That's true. Uh, before this all happened, you said you wanted to hear one of mine. Yes, awkward date I stories. did. So, what was yours? Um, I've shared this one on stage a couple times, but uh, freshman year, we okay. had homecoming. Uh, homecoming at my school, Baptist school, was a little weird. We didn't yep. do a dance. Oh. So what's nice is we bought tickets and we went to dinner because it was a okay. banquet. Um, so we didn't have to buy dinner and go to the dance. So it was like we didn't have to pay twice. So it was nice. Mm-hmm. But uh, we, I asked this girl out. She was a brand new girl at the school. Ellie was her name. Ellie. And first off, fumbled the ask after like we're leaving a class in just a group i like bumped into her i was like oh hey you want to go to homecoming like how lame is that yeah. like and she was like uh yeah and i should have i should have known just based on uh yeah like i should have <laughs> been like actually never mind like we're good we're good yeah. so we go to homecoming take some awkward pictures i don't even put my arm around or nothing like we're literally standing like yeah, this next to each other yeah i was um you know little little robert <laughs> little freshman robert little um robert. but here's the thing we uh were there for two hours mm-hmm. at this dinner and i strategically moved the seats so i could sit next to my buddy and not between his date and ellie shouldn't mm-hmm. have done that so i talked to my buddy the whole night and didn't speak one word to ellie hmm. and uh so we got to the That's end rough. of the night and like we're walking out and my parents are there to pick me up because I couldn't drive as a freshman. But we walk out and I go and at the end of the night, I like looked at her and she literally looked at me. She goes, hey, that was fun. I'm going to go bowling with some people. And like I was like kind of waiting for an invite. And then I was like, you ain't getting one, kid. <laughs> you ain't getting one. Mm-mm. So uh, uh, that was that was fun. That was a start to my high school career. Gosh. Start to my dating career, too. You know, that's horrible. A and guy did that to me once. Left me really? Mm-hmm. You. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, poor, poor it's Ellie. Dudes, I know what it feels like. Us dudes, we yeah. don't know what we're doing, Mm-mm. which is ironic because we're getting into this conversation about consent. Consent, so it's and very it's, important. <laughs> I would say, I will say this, and you could d- agree or disagree. Okay. I think the consent issue is majority a male problem. Agreed. So I would say that it does not only include males, yep. because I think there there is yes. instances, and that can happen. And we'll get into it. Mm-hmm. But I do think, like dudes listening, like this is going to be kind of pointed at you. Like this is on you because if history shows us anything, it's a dude problem. Yeah. So um, we're going to get into this. So let's talk consent. Derek's message this last week uh, was about how far is too far. Um, And sometimes that can come down to consent. Yeah. So um, it's, it's this idea of like what we're okay with and what we're not okay with. So Mm -hmm. this topic actually really is important. I want to ask you if you can just explain consent and why is it important? Yeah. So the, definition that google tells you of what consent is is permission for something to happen or agreement to do something and so like we give consent when we go to the doctor we give consent when we just tell our friends we want to go to the movies with each other like you i was just, gonna say yeah, that's like, literally we consent. give our consent like m- on a daily basis probably more than we know it mm-hmm. um but w- i think the most important conversation of consent is obviously in our like dating and sexual relationships because it's so it's something that's harder to give. Um, mm-hmm. It's harder um, to have control over um, when different kind of things happen. But I think it is um, one of the things that we're vastly undertaught mm. as just humans, mm-hmm. like whatever male, female you are, like however you identify, it's really we're not taught it. We're taught mm-hmm. to like be people pleasers. We're taught to say yes when we really mean no. Um, And so I think, you know, especially when it comes to our bodies and how we use them in the world, um, it's it's really important to just kind of understand what you desire to give permission for your body to um, not to be used, but how to give it. Um, Mm -hmm. and, and really that being your choice, cause there's a lot of power Mm -hmm. that comes with that choice. And that's why when that choice is taken away from us, it's really really hard to recover from um i think especially as females but um it does uh, like males 100 percent too um so yeah i just it's a really important conversation um and how that shows up in our world i know the big word is culture mm-hmm. how that shows up in our culture um is it's it's a hard conversation and so but it's good and um you know, I'm sure Derek, Derek's message really yeah. kind of laid out some good like boundaries and ground rules. Ground because rules. I think that's I think that's a good starting point, right? Yeah. Is boundaries is a good starting point. Yes. Because I think anytime 
when there comes to consent in the sexual nature yeah. of with our bodies and, yeah. and what we do in relationships. And yeah. I would even argue if you're listening and you're married, there's also consent in marriage. Yes. Okay. So every marriage day. does not just give a blank check. No. Okay. So, no. and we'll kind of get into that, but I think boundaries is a good starting point for that yeah. because if there's a standard and if there's a boundary set, you, mm. you should know where the line now is. Yes. And that's where the yes or no question can arise yes. at that boundary. Yeah. So I, I think that boundary is that, that best starting point of it. And, and Derek talked about that um, a little bit in his message last night. So, yeah. um, so consent obviously requires two parties. Yes. Right. So there's the party saying yes or no. Mm-hmm. And then there's the party on the other side of the conversation. Mm-hmm. And I think both parties are really responsible um, yeah. in this in this situation right yeah. there's there's a responsibility for the person who's laying down the consent and yeah. there's a person who is picking up the consent yeah at that point and it's funny that you mention like going to the movies because i was literally thinking about that i was yeah. like if i said hey lauren do you want to go like do you and jesse want to go see a movie with me and yeah. kaylee next friday yeah you have the option to say yes or no correct and we are going to respect that yeah we're not going to come to your house and kidnap you and take you to the movies on friday <laughs> right. like that's like <laughs> right. that's that's that would be right. the example of not giving consent and it's funny yeah. because when you get into your adult holder, when you're looking for jobs as high schooler yeah. students, right? Like you're giving consent to do a certain job too. Oh, like yeah. when you sign on to a job, there's the list of responsibilities. Oh, yeah. You're giving your consent saying, I will do these things. You've got to read that handbook. But then what's funny is at jobs when something comes up and they're like, Hey, I know you're, I know you're just a retail stock person, mm-hmm. like putting the jeans back on the shelf at old Navy, but Hey, we have a toilet that needs plunging. Can you do that? there's that consent again mm-hmm. of yes or no. Yeah. So it's funny because there is consent everywhere in culture and in this world, yeah. but it really does come down to this for us th- during this series is this, this sexual consent mm-hmm. and this consent with our bodies. So um, let's talk about those two parties a little bit. Yeah. Let's talk about the party saying yes and no. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that, that plays a lot into it yeah. and that's where this conversation starts. Yeah. So I'm curious what you would say when I say what should um, play into that decision? What should, if you're deciding yes or no, or you're asking yes or no. Yeah. What, what plays into that? Um, one, I think it's your, your comfortability. Mm-hmm. Um, morals are super important as well. Like obviously like we're, this is the crossing students podcast, like that we're going to talk from a biblical perspective. And so whatever your decision is regarding sex and your body and dating, like that's, you know, that will be addressed in other podcasts in more, in more in depth. Um, but I think, so really it starts with what you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, really the foundation being your faith journey and how, what you choose to do with that. I would even argue it's, I would even argue it's bigger than the faith journey, right? Because it's, it's not just Christians that should respect a consent. Yes. No, that's a a natural human thing. But you, the (laughs) question, the the question being like why you should say yes or no. Yes. Okay. I think that comes down to like what your personal choice is when it comes to something like sex. Yes. Like, are you wanting to have sex? Like, are you not wanting to? Yes. But even, even outside of moralities, I think you're, it, talk more about oh my gosh what did you say comfortability yes no yeah. so i think that's the important part yes. too yeah so really when it comes down to being comfortable like i um you really your part you have to have a comfortability with your partner right so like if someone is going to take advantage of you they're going to like 9 times out of 10 they're if they're going to start with that motive they're going to continue right like mm. whether you say yes or no um because they already have it in their mind and they're not honoring that and mm. so like say you're in a dating relationship and you said yes before, but you want to say no now, that is a hundred percent. Okay. Um, and that just because you said yes once doesn't mean that's an, a yes always. Mm-hmm. And so like, say you're uncomfortable in the moment, um, and you want to stop, mm-hmm. you say, I want to stop. Or you say, no, you say very clear things mm-hmm. verbally, um, that, indicate you're not comfortable anymore um because on just on the other side of that you might be really comfortable and say yes and go too far than what you wanted to and and I, to that I would also say that that is okay it just de- depends on what your goals and mm-hmm. how you recover from that not recover but just how you rebound from that like what's your view of yourself like your own yep. self-worth because of that um that doesn't mean you are any less than no. if you said if you said yes to something mm-hmm. that before you're like i'm never gonna do that and then in the heat of the moment 
you said yes, you consented. Great. Like as long as it was a healthy Mm -hmm. interaction, um, that's the most important part. I think what becomes uncomfortable and what becomes unhealthy is when, whether we say no, whether we say, I don't want to stop, whether we, um, we just were targeted, um, Mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Um, not because we did anything, um, not because of what we were wearing, not because of Mm -mm. where we were, not because of anything like that. Um, but we were targeted for whatever reason. And then taken advantage of i'm gonna i'm gonna go at some of these people listening probably but yeah if say you're a girl yeah. because it most of the time happens to a girl yeah. right we've already established yeah. that say you're a girl you're dating a guy and you're like why does he keep taking advantage of me why yeah. do i keep crossing the boundary i set why do yeah. i keep feeling bad the next day after we yeah. did xyz mm-hmm. look at him <laughs> yeah maybe you're dating the wrong guy it's, because it's he wrong. is not respecting it he is no. not sitting at those boundaries he's not acknowledging your consent that's that's a real thing like you gotta get out of that relationship well and it's important i think to make sure we're saying our boundaries out loud saying them and setting them we're saying like whether sometimes we don't even have the tools to say no but our our body like Mm. body language do you have the capability to move your body Mm -hmm. in a way that would say like no i don't want this and like just how making sure you are saying yeah. no to to whatever degree you can unless it's an abusive situation like that's where i think the line just gets yeah. like way it's not there's no line is gone you know yeah and so um yeah i think it just depends on really how what your boundaries are and yeah. then also how how you're speaking those in your relationship and ex- especially in a dating relationship. Like, are you, yeah. s- are you having those conversations outside of the bedroom? That's a hard, that's like a it's hard. Yeah. I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about this. I mean, Preston Sprinkle, yeah. he was talking to somebody about this and it's like, we're talking about the idea of like, Hey, where, where's the line? How are we setting yeah. those boundaries? But he literally said the line, he goes, yeah, but put yourself in the shoes of a 19 year old in the backseat of a car. Like, yeah, you're not thinking There's about that no line. Like you're not thinking about that. And nobody is stopping going, Hey, how comfortable are you with this? Right. Uh, can you break down what these boundaries were and why you believe them? And like, right. that's not, that's not happening. No. And you might very well feel comfortable and want to exactly. say yes. And yes. that's, so that's yes. like, Oh, that's consent. Having exactly. the choice to say yes. Yes. And, and I ha- think in, in the healthiest of healthy relationships, yeah. those things should be being talked about. Yes. Those things should be set ahead of time. Those yeah. things should be, conversations you have early yeah because i think yeah. the, the farther you get in the harder it's going to be to set those lines yeah. um and you can't it's not that you can't set them it's yeah. just harder to do it yeah. like yeah we've been doing this for how many months hey let's stop yeah come on yeah. <laughs> like it, it's yeah. hard it's not impossible it's hard yeah. so the earlier you can have those conversations and set those boundaries i think are important because then when the word no comes up mm-hmm nobody should be questioning it yeah it should stop it should stop it should immediately stop Mm -hmm. when that word comes up it should stop full Mm -hmm. stop Mm -hmm. that's it Mm -hmm. so i I would say even if like the no is unsure like because i think sometimes when you're like in a boyfriend girlfriend situation oh no i don't want to do that like the no should still be honored as a no i think sometimes women are taught like no you have to say like no and like firm like it's really hard to be firm like that and so even if you hear i'm not really sure about this full stop yeah pump the brakes Mm -hmm. pump the brakes and have a hard uh, Mm -hmm. have a have a hard and deeper conversation yeah Yeah. because that's that's the most important thing is there's Mm -hmm. the safety yes so um let's go to the other side of this yeah so this is going to be a such a quick answer to this question ready you ready for this i'm going to read it and I want you just to give me your direct answer if you are told no how should you respond stop i should say and I that's the stop. end of our podcast no i'm just kidding <laughs> seriously though like that's it's such yeah. a simple yeah. like that's such a simple answer if you're on the it other is. side of it and somebody's saying no or somebody's right. not sure it should full stop yeah so then if you're told yes mm-hmm. how i feel like there is still a little bit of let's be smart and conscious moving mm-hmm. forward mm-hmm. because a yes to move forward does not mean a yes to everything correct but it does mean a yes to a next step yeah yeah, like a yes. Sure, keep yes, going. Yes, keep Until going. Until I say no. Until you say no. Okay. But I think like, so say that's one interaction and things go far and you have fun. Great. That doesn't mean next Friday nope. night 
that you you have to say yes again if you want to say yes again then great but um no it's not a like just because you said yes once doesn't mean you always have to say yes yeah and if the next day you're like oh my gosh like we need to talk about this like then there's maybe different boundaries or whatever but really for whether it's you and a partner like I hope that you would be able to have that kind of conversation um but beyond that yeah no like I'm, if the partner doesn't want to have that conversation is that a red flag I would yeah, it's not your partner yeah no because a partner implies that you're yeah. having those conversations correct so I think that would that should be a yeah. red flag if you're trying to have conversations like this yeah. and they're like hey like I'm not really sure about this yeah like, well partnership really means a this team conversation. Like, yeah. you know, like we're going to be on the same team. We're going to like support 100%. each other. We're going to want what's best for each other. Hundred percent. And so, yeah, if you can't have, if you can't that's have good. a conversation about sex outside of the that's bedroom good. with your partner, it's not a partner. Yep. That's, yeah. that's solid. That's, that's solid yeah. advice. Listen to that. Write it down. It's true. Every time you go out on a date, be like, okay, can I have a conversation <laughs> with this person? Like, <laughs> Just like, just mentally yeah. just think through yeah. that. Of like, is this a person I would have a conversation with? You'd be in that surprised sense. how few of people. They really I, think through that kind of stuff. Like, well, you just be surprised how, like, it's it's hard to have that conversation. Yeah. And so, like, you'd be surprised, like, how many people don't want to do that. Yeah. And it might weed them out. Which ladies. is crazy like, to me. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, that's weeding them out. Like, yeah. yeah that, not the right person. Yeah. Nope, no. Sorry. Yeah. Because when something bigger comes up, that conversation is not going to be had. Yes. So, exactly. if you can't have the simple ones, then you can't have that one. Yeah. So, uh, let, me, let me jump to this Kay. into our kind of last segment of this i guess yeah, yeah. um because i do i do want to bring in i want to bring in some scripture totally so there is a chunk in ephesians 5 mm-hmm. i don't have my bible in front of me so this is gonna be the robert summarized version you can go look it up but it's the ephesians 5 passage it's a submission passage yeah that's like that word is a red flag for some people yep. to be honest but yeah i want to kind of throw a different spin on it yeah so uh we know this passage a lot of times because there's a famous famous paul thing in there that um, please don't take it at face value. We should know that about scripture. You need mm-hmm. to dive deeper. It's mm-hmm. not face value. But mm-hmm. Paul says, wives, submit to your husbands. Mm-hmm. And that gets thrown around too often Way because too often. we don't look at the rest of it. So yep. let me take you to the rest of it. Yeah. Ephesians 5 starts by saying, uh, all of you submit to one another out of mm-hmm. reverence for Christ. Mm-hmm. Then he goes into wives, submit to your husbands. Mm-hmm. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Mm-hmm. Uh, slaves, because slavery was a thing back then. Mm-hmm. Slaves, submit to your masters. Mm-hmm. Children, submit to your parents. Mm-hmm. Employees, submit to your employers. Yeah. And he goes through this whole list. But I think the key verse in that mm-hmm. is the opening because he yeah. sets up the rest of it. It's like sub, uh, it's like heading and then sub, 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 mm-hmm. sub. It all comes behind that. Yeah. And it's him saying, hey, submit to each other yeah. th- out of reverence for Christ. Yeah. And I think when we look at this idea of consent, I really do think that that submission aspect, if we're Christ followers, let's I'll speak to Christ followers specifically yeah. in yeah. this, that submission aspect should play a key part into it. Yeah. Because when somebody tells us no, mm-hmm. our act of submission should be like, okay, you said no, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Let me take a step back. Yep. That's me submitting to your wishes. Yeah. And then... If, uh, and, and as I lost my train of thought, but we're, we're still good. Um, because you're submitting to that person saying, Hey, I'm going to submit out of Christ. And that's on either party. That's on the guy or the girl, no matter what in the situation. Right. But, um, you brought up a good point when we were chatting about this of, okay, but what if a female we will use female example? What if a female feels like he's asking me to do this and I need to submit to him? Right. That's. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's, you're no, not that's hearing this not right. What, so, t- yeah. Uh, so yeah. How would you respond to that? Yeah. Um, that's not what he means. No, <laughs> that's not what Paul means. Um, so really, yeah, it's submitting to each other. Like if we have the respect, right? Like, mm-hmm. so if we, um, I- the verse that gets thrown around a lot in that is, you know, like wives submit to your husbands. Cause it's like one sentence and it's just like, used which is funny because yeah, it's like, it's like two sentences uh, in the, in the, like, in the the passage right but it's then short what comes after it a big <laughs> a fat paragraph. paragraph about how husbands need to submit to their wives yes to, uh paul writes twice as more to the husbands than he does to the wives because and he so, knows we're hard-headed and we need to like really pay attention to it man yeah I'm and you. i will say and i think us women we need we just need a lot more we need a lot yeah. more like tenderness a lot more care a lot more attention trust me jesse will tell you he has to he's he's he does great but well it's, it's funny a lot because more. people are also like well it just says husbands love your wives okay first off it doesn't it says husbands love your wives as christ loved love the, the church. church yes guys 
I'm going to be honest, like there's so much more entailed in that than wives submit to your husbands. Yeah. Like guys, there's so much more that we have to live up to and the yeah. example that we are supposed to represent yeah. compared to what Paul is saying to the women. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Like you said, it's a whole fat paragraph yeah. compared to two sentences. Yeah. So and that's, I w- that's huge. Yeah. And I will say like I, being in a healthy relationship, like when my husband treats me well, mm. like every day, like I, there's no fear of submission to him. The like question doesn't even come the up. The question is not even a question. Mm-hmm. Like consent. Yeah. Like, of course, like Consent's my, always my yes be last night doesn't mean my yes today. Yep. Like, but that's in any part of like, again, like going to the movies with Rob and Kaylee, like that's yeah. like in everything, right? Like consent, but really like, yeah, submitting to, to the better good, at, like bringing up partnership, like marriage, like, like there is a mutual, like, I, if he wants to do something like we, ha- we talk about it. There's not a like, no, but like we're in a partnership because I, you know, there's just different, we're n- this is not a marriage podcast, this but is, we're if on it, consent. But, but in the, in the, in the, in the vein of that, yeah. there's the conversation. And if the conversation ends in a no, yes, you each are submitting to each other in that. Yes. No, a hundred percent. Yeah. So, yeah. but I think when it comes back to the, well, he wants me to do this. Should I submit to him? Mm-hmm. I think we, we forget to, as Christians specifically, yeah. we forget that once we've set boundaries and once God set boundaries for us too, yeah. of like these different things that you're like, well, if somebody asks me to go murder somebody, are you going to go murder somebody by submitting? <laughs> Guys, but Jesus also says don't murder. Right. So, like, right. no, you're not going to because right. that's going against what you believe in and that's going against your morals and the boundaries totally. that have been set. Yeah. So, yes, submit. Right. But when there's a crossing of boundaries or an issue with morals, mm-hmm. no, pump the brakes. Yeah. Let's stop and have a conversation because yeah. that I'm not going to submit to that because you're asking me to do something that is wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. And I think, but I think sometimes maybe that it's not as clear as that. Yeah. Right. Like True. it's mo- things got caught up in the moment and whatever. Yep. And so, yes, but it's like that's not always grace comes in. That's where grace comes in. <laughs> that's, that's grace. where grace comes in because yeah. I, any conversation around love, sex and dating, I think yep. grace has to be brought up Oh, huh. because like, we're not yeah. perfect. Nobody's perfect. No. So when there's like uncomfortability or even the next day when there's remorse or yeah. shame, because th- that that comes with this kind of conversation too. There should always be grace extended. Well, there should always be grace. Yeah, and it is like it's never God's intention for us for to us live to in feel that shame. No. No, 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 absolutely no. not. Especially when it comes to our bodies. Like He created them so unique and so beautiful that it, like we hundred percent. Like there should be no. Let's shame. be real. If anybody's able to shame um, shame us, it's God. But He doesn't. Well, yeah, exactly. The be- exactly. He doesn't because He loves us and He extends grace. Yeah. And men, if you're trying to live like God, and He says to respect and love like Christ loved, then you're not going to shame. Mm-hmm. There should be no shame there. Mm-hmm. There should only be love and grace. Yeah. Because He ha- He has the power to shame us and He doesn't. Right. So right. why should we shame each other? Yeah. But culture. Yeah. There's yeah. shame comes from culture. The world sometimes. is messy. <laughs> the world is messy. It's not perfect. <laughs> wow. Um. That was a lot. I know. That was a lot. <sighs> Do you have anything else? Do you have any like closing words or anything? No. no. I think I think we did consent justice. I think we did. That's that's a interesting terminology for this conversation because consent yeah. goes legal and justice is it's weird. You know, I came in here with some full legal definitions. You came in here like a he full like, lawyer, and I was know. like, "Hey, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if we need that. If it goes there, great." Yeah, I did have to ask you how far I could go. You so did. I, I rail- you did. <laughs> did I abide by the law? I think Trey. Do we get a thumbs up on the conversation? Okay, <laughs> okay. we got a thumbs up on the conversation. We're good. Um, Thank you for yeah. even just coming and sitting down and chatting yeah, about this. Of course. Um, we knew we needed to have the conversation when me, you, and Jeff all were in that room when the question came up last yeah. year. Um, so that's that's huge. And um, I want to say this also to any of you listening. If you have more questions about this, let us yes. know. Reach out. Um, DM the, the students' Instagram. We'll be there. Uh, f- find yeah. us on a Wednesday. I mean, okay. Lauren's there on Wednesdays. I'm there on Wednesdays. Jeff's there on Wednesdays. Yeah. Like, pull us aside. Have conversations. Seriously. Seriously. Most of y'all follow me on Instagram. DM me. Like, yeah. I'm always, especially for you ladies. Like, this is hard. It's a hard mm-hmm. topic. And so, but it's, I think it's powerful when we're given the choice. It's so, good. Yeah. That's really good. It's intended to be a continued conversation that can still be continued. Yeah. So if you need to keep talking to us about it, keep talking Doors to us about it. Doors never closed. We know that when we try to answer questions, we only bring up more questions for you. So yeah. That's, that's true. just the way the world works. So <laughs> um, that's that's the way it is. But Lauren, thanks for sitting down. Thanks for taking yeah. the time. Thank um, you for asking me. Yeah. Go, yeah. go have a great dinner with your husband. Yeah. He's going to well. make you dinner, right? I Do mean, you know uh, what you're having? Every night. Uh, Korean fried rice. Korean fried rice. Mm-hmm. Or kimchi Wha- fried rice. 
that's horrible. You he's don't know which one. He's delicious. making something good. The menu, you know, he meal prepped for me this week. It's just. Oh, my gosh. That's it. That. Hey, talk about that like, is loving your wife submission. and submitting. <laughs> he did the full meal prep and you're about to go home not knowing what your mm-hmm. dinner is and you're going to eat it and love it. Oh, my gosh. See, yes, it's see my how life. that works? That's I great. I love marriage. Yeah. Marriage is fun. <laughs> marriage is fun, guys. We talked about that it's last hard, week with Scott. It's hard, but it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> but it is hard. But anyway, hey, thanks for being here. Hey, we will be back next week um with a conversation about lgbtqia plus so we are excited for that we can't wait to see you back next week and next wednesday finishes our love sex and dating series with a conversation around sex so i'm mentally prepping already so here we go this is see you guys next week